So I would say that the two biggest impediments for us right now are one, that uh, AI is changing so quick, quickly and rapidly that uh, we want to make sure that we're making wise investments. Uh, so some of our, our um, choices to date we're really excited about. We've started small because of, because of the, the investment that needs to be made. Um, and, and because of the complexity of the work that we're trying to accomplish, we've taken it kind of slow and, it, and, we've, and, we've, and uh, a more customized ap approach. Uh, but I, I don't think that's, that's sustainable long term. So we really want to figure out ways that we can use what we've built and, and, and leverage other tools and resources, whether AI or otherwise, to, to, to scale what we do and make ensure that it's also transferable though, so that we're not locking ourselves into any one solution because things are changing so rapidly. So I think that's our, probably our biggest um, just a uh, challenge at the moment. And then also th there continues to be a lack of knowledge internally about what AI offers and how we're using that information. So, so we work every day to kind of uh, tell the story internally about and get internal buy-in with our stakeholders about how we can best leverage AI. So whether it's the data, whether it's, um, it's and, and analytics and helping adjudicators do their, their casework better or if it's serving the public. Uh, you know, there's lots of privacy and, and, and legal concerns that, that uh, I think we, we've, we're trying to address right now to, to allow us to, to expose ourselves to all the different resources that are available.